Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from the WE Vibes and in this tutorial I am going to solve the end problem 4.6 from the digital logic design where you have to design a 3 input majority circuit and the output function f will be equal to 1 when the binary combination has more number of 1s as compared to zeros. Fine, so first step is to construct the truth table for that problem. Here you can see there is no number of 1 present in the input combination so the output will be equal to 0 and now if you count the number of ones then only one bit is equal to one while here are two bits equal to zero so this output function will be equal to zero and same is the case is over here so the output function will be equal to one but now for this binary combination you can see there are more number of one bits as compared to number of zero bits so two one bits are present while single zero bit is present so the output function will be equal to one then zero then 1 then again 1 and finally 1 so in this way we you will fill the truth table all right the next step is to construct the k map for this problem so here you will design a three variable k map as i have drawn over here and the next step is to place the main terms in this k map so you can see m0 m1 m2 m3 so m0 m1 m2 and m3 so you will place one in this box then 0 1 2 3 4 is 0 while 5 6 and 7 are equal to 1 so 0 1 2 3 4 is 0 then 5 6 and 7 all are equal to 1 so in this way you will fill the uh, boxes of the k map the next step is to combine the adjacent boxes or the adjacent mean terms so we can combine these two mean terms then you can combine these two mean terms and finally you will combine these two adjacent boxes fine and let's determine the expression for the output function f first i will look at the vertical column okay so here you can see x is varying from 0 to 1 so we will not write it while y and z both are equal to 1 so we will represent them as unprimed variables fine then plus next i will consider the, these two terms so here x is equal to 1 so that's why x will appear as it is while we have to write that variable which is not varying so you can see this 0 is actually corresponding to y while 1 uh, z, 1 is corresponding to z similarly y is varying from 0 to 1 so we will not write it while z remains as it is so x z plus then x y so this is the final expression or the boolean expression for the majority circuit all right the next step or the final step is to draw the combinational circuit for that and what you need to do you need to have three variables x y and z first you need to add y and z so i will use an and gate for that then you have to add the x and z so you can take x from here and you can take z from here and you will add these two variables the last one is you have to take the end of x and y so i will take y from here and x from here and hence this and gate will produce x y this will produce y z while the last gate will produce z and x or x z and finally you have to or you need to or these terms and the output function will actually give you the output value where whenever the number of ones will be more as compared to the number of zeros in the combination uh, in the combination of the inputs Thank you for watching.